we have photographers sitting in trees waiting to get the right shot. Um, so it's, uh, it's a difficult task, but you know, we deal with it. Uh, we camouflage the cars as well as we can and, and we adjust our schedules accordingly. So uh, I think we're doing a pretty good job, but they're very persistent. We always struggle a little bit with the auto paparazzi. I would say Mustang has gotten more attention than any vehicle that I've ever been associated with, so it's been especially hard. It's been a challenge to, to you know, keep, keep the vehicle under wraps. This is the only vehicle that's ever gone 50 years, and the program teams have all come to us and basically told us that we've got a lot of secrecy behind this vehicle, and they want to keep it quiet as they possibly can. A lot of passion goes into trying to keep this vehicle hidden. We, we start off in the studios and we get our patterns from there. Our camo, we try to make it so it's uh, not as rigid as uh, like a hard plastic. A hard plastic is, is it actually will bind up on the vehicle um, occasionally. So we try to, to stay with the soft vinyl and lightweight. We try to be professional about it. Um, not everybody is. Uh, these paparazzis definitely uh, don't play fair. The paparazzi, um, it's very difficult to keep the car in the wraps. We've been doing, I think, a great job as a team, uh, but it makes our jobs more difficult. They, they hide in weeds, they, uh, they hide behind buildings, they hide in uh, tall grass, um, wherever they can. So, uh, and they also fly over top of uh, test tracks occasionally. So many people want to know about this car. So many people want to know what we're doing. This car is the most highly anticipated uh, car, or one of the most highly anticipated cars. And that's a great thing, that our customers love this car so much. And that's what makes Mustang special.